All right, I just wanted to do a video on how I did my exhaust fan, new exhaust fan system. What I did is, first of all, I took out the original window and I built a new window to make it look like a window, just to still get light into the workshop. So what I did is I, the only plastic I had was enough to do this with making this wider fit the piece of plastic that I had. So what I did is I cut, this is actually six inch. So this is what I want to show you. This is a all purpose paint filled with towels to give some insulation. So then there's a, a rod. So this goes to the, the, this is in the actual air vents. I mean the air fans. And it, what you'll see when I go on the inside to show you that. So this gets pulled in and plugs up the hole. Because so I wanted to make it easy. So so now this will insulate the cold air. So no cold air. This one I think is locked on. Same way. So it's just a 2 inch cord that fits the 6 inch connector that's taped into the window. So once that's put in it seals the hole and keeps the cold air from coming in. So this is what it looks like. I mean, so this is the outside portion. There's a fake uh, homemade window with the two holes cut in it. And this is just the outside version, so. Okay, now we're inside and I want to give you the look. A uh, look, uh, this is, this is the um, threaded rod that we saw that's connected to the paint buckets. So, and then what I do is you drill a hole right through the, wherever it lines up the best. So all you need to do is push this down and it opens it up. You, you'll understand, you'll get the idea. It's like, now the bucket is hanging and the air would be able to flow freely and it's two seconds to push it open seconds to pull it back and seat it so it seals it up so and this uh, I found this and I could use this as a lock to lock lock it or you could just like on this one I put a I just put a pair of vice grips when it's you know to lock it in but anyway so you could put a handle see here's a, this one I put a handle on push it out opens it up pull it back completely sealed and it's uh, no cold air gets in and you can see this is the, uh, the wood window I built I just built the wood frame put the plastic you know so I can have a window to, you know, to let some light I have just have this filter on you know. so I'll go into that in a second anyways so the wood frame acrylic plastic um, to make your fake window Take the old window out, store it, so when you move or whatever, you can just put it back. That's what I'm going to do. So anyways, you can cut the holes. This is, you'll see it, you'll find this at Home Depot. It's just a, a way to join the two pipes together that goes outside. I mean, you'll you'll figure that out at Home Depot. So this is 6 inch. I, I moved to 6 inch. I used to have 4 inch because I actually went to big, bigger fans. So, and higher velocity or CEF CFMs so anyways I'll just show this one this is I have this one now these are fans that they use like for greenhouses stuff like that I, they're the best they're the most quietest because I'll show you so you just open that up and turn it on once it winds up it creates and this is 745 CFM. So this is pushing a lot of air out. That's why I went with the bigger 6 inch pipes. So once you're done, and actually uh, I see that this here, I'm actually going to put this on and extend it over to another place where I do epoxy. In. So close that up and you're all done. So this is my paint one that it comes down here, it splits off, and you know, I, I'll have a picture on my, when I do this. So, actually, these little filters, so you can see, I have, uh, each one is set up, there's three of them in here, 
and this equals to 513 CFMs, all three of these together. So I put that on. I just pop that up there. And this actually works incredibly well. It takes it over the spray. But what I do is, you can see I have a spinner here where I set the lures up, and then I just I spray with this the primer. And this is like where all the primer collects on this instead of getting out the filter. So that's a tip that I'll show you. And then uh, I hit that, and then I just pull that and it, and it's sealed up. So anyway, so this is each one of these fans in here is 171 CFMs total. It's 513. So that pulls so much air out of the workshop that you got to be careful. This is a very important. If your water heater in your furnace, which is in the next room, you will suck the exhaust out of your heater, and you know. And so you'd be very careful about the, where the the intake, where the air is being pulled from. So just be wise to that. So I shut the door. And I turn open, I crack another window on the other side of the workshop to pull in the fresh air. So, anyways, that is my paint where I do all my priming. I only prime my lures and the rest is done a different way. I have a an old uh, spinning thing so I can, if I'm painting right here, I can just paint it. And, and the same thing, all the um, overspray gets sucked out. So, anyways, I hope that... Uh, gives you guys some idea so I just wanted to really focus on how to ex get it exiting out of the workshop so but I would highly recommend these things for your exhaust they re work really well so anyways thanks for watching